Good morning. Wednesday. And this morning, I want to speak about flux, you know. A lot of people ask me about flux. What's that liquid? What flux do you use? Why do you use that flux? Things like that. And I think it's a good idea to benchmark the flux. Shall we? Let me find a motherboard for testing and let's benchmark the flux. Let me find a good one. Okay, let me find I need two chips here yeah, to have same chips. Yeah, it looks like they're the same. Okay, let's start. Let's start and benchmark the flux. The first, you know what? I have a friend, Jason. He is like always looking for the best things and check all the reviews and he buy me things. Actually, this flux, which I will test today, Amtec one, he bought it for me and say look this is a present I check YouTube and this is the best flux and I got this from like one year and I still I still it's, it's half left it's okay but let's check today let's see on the other hand we have my liquid flux my liquid flux which is yeah this one, this is, I don't, I don't know, I think I don't uh, on each country it has different names. So it's Colophonium, Colophonia, Rosin, Colophonium. These things, this is great. This is, it's, it's, this is from my time, you know. I'm using this for years. And also I love the smell. Yeah, this is solid. To make liquid flux. Let me see if I can find one second. Yeah. So my liquid flux is this. You smash it, yeah? Till it's like a powder or sugar like salt, yeah? And you combine with this one. Here's a propylic alcohol. That's my liquid flux. Yeah. When I use the solder iron, I always use this. This is fantastic. And uh, even when I use hot air, I'm using the liquid flux because of the the boiling temperature is very high. When this thing is just get evaporated, but this one no, this is just just boiling. The flux, yeah. But let's test. You know when the, when the flux will help you. When you have let's say uh, water damage things. On the water damage boards or motherboards, uh, you can't stop the you can't stop the the rust. You know the only way to stop the rust is to stop the air and a good flux who covers your things yeah it will stop the rust so let's test let's okay one second just give me one second one second
I'm really sorry, but you know the shop. Let's check. Let's see. Mm. Okay. Let's test these flux. Yeah. Let's put a lot of flux here. Let's start the microscope. Uh, let's use this flux on another chip here. Okay. Microscope. So this is the empty flux. Let's get the hot air. 500 degrees. You know, just heat up, try to do something. I see this when this chip is moving. Yeah, now it's moving. Yeah? Okay. Now let's go. Where is the liquid flux? Yeah? It's different chip. Let's see if we can move this the the chip. Yeah, the chip is moving. Now let's wait. Oh, my phone is ringing. Okay. Oh, it is the phone. Hmm. Yes, yeah. Here. One second, one second. Okay, I just wait to you know these things to cool down so it's still hot so this is my flux my flux which is colophonium and this is the other flux so if we check yeah exactly what I explained to you about the boiling temperature yeah here is the antic flux. You can see here is it's dry. It's not even flux because the flux get vaporized by the temperature. Can be a good idea when you want a clean repair, yeah. But if you have like a water damage job, you know, this is bad because all my pins are. Uh, are discovered so are, are, are uh, on contact with the air and obviously the rust will uh, 
one second. Yeah, and the uh, and the rust will, sp will spread. You know, the rust is same like cancer. You, you cannot stop the rust. So that's why I avoid using this flux on like normal jobs. The other one with my flux is still okay, still looking good. I can see even after uh, 500 degrees, and I don't usually work with 500 degrees, but let's see if my pins are protected. That's, that's, that's what is important against corrosion, you know. Now where is the chip? It's here. Let me get in focus if I can. Hmm. Okay. Let me get the blade. It's still hot, but it's okay. We can check. So you see, look, it's like breaking like glass. You see, look, that's why I love working with colophonium. Look, so everything is covered on a thin, thin la layer of of of, uh, of flux. You can see, look. Everywhere is flux. When you have like a water damage thing, yeah, that's that's fantastic. You see, to, to cover everything on uh, on on flux. This is a faulty motherboard, so it's not important if we are destroying something. But you know. I, I, f I feel more safe if I'm using this flux just because of this reason because all my things is covered on a tiny layer of flux you can see so everything here is covered in flux it's like glass you know when it when it's uh, it's called it's like glass on the other uh, side with the Amtec one I say it's it's here is dry and if it's dry it's, it's not okay I don't want to be dry Now, here is the board. Here are the solders. So that's the thing with the with the flux. But you know, it's more to say about this. When I'm working on phones, small things with yeah, I I always use this. This is okay, you know. It's it's it's. You can see through the flux, and also leave the working place clean. This one, after after uh, after you use it on the board, yeah, you put flux or the liquid flux, yeah, and you are using the flux. You know how it get like this, like this color. So this is not very clean, but it's better. It's better to use. But on the phones, on the phones, I'm using something like that, or I have more. One second. I have even even uh, even more flux, you know. 
this is this is nice it's nice only because of this because it's getting vaporized and leave the working area clean and also it's clear you can see through the flux when you actually you start soldering so I can't say one is good or one is better but each must be used for different things when it's water damage water damage after I clean the area I will use the liquid flux even if I don't solder nothing you know I will go probably like 300 degrees and I'm sure my flux will go under each chip because we'll go under this the chips yeah the flux the flux will get, will get cold so it'll be like this when it's getting cold but also being under the chip he'll easily the area and also we'll stop the air goes on the on the all the metal parts you know we'll stop the corrosion so that's about the flux so each year, yeah, with the solder iron, I always use this. It's fantastic with the solder iron. But with the hot air, on the laptops, I always work with my liquid flux. On the phones, when I have water damage, I use this. When I do different repairs, I use the other one. Yeah? So that's the things about the flux, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, like, and subscribe if you like the video, and see you later. Yeah, bye.